Hello, 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 lovely people. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I want to come on here and just talk to you about Uber and notary business, the comparison of, right? So, as anybody, as, as everybody knows, if you've been following my, my journey, that I am a notary. I've been a notary since 2019, slash so loan closing agent. Um, I've done a lot more loan closing than I have just mainly general notary work for the public, okay? So, everyone knows the market has gone up and down, shifted a little bit, right? So, you're like, well, where are you at now, Nikki? Okay, this is where I'm at right now. I still have my business as a notary, loan signing agent. I'm still a notary. I'm still commissioned until 2025. Thank God. Um, but I don't take as many appointments as I once did. And let me tell you why. With just utilizing your notary stamp, with general notary with the public not business to business just with the public you can get a call for any type of document and i mean any type of document anything that needs to be notarized you can notarize it right i am commissioner in north carolina saying all that to say this sometimes people don't know what they need and they think that you may not know what you're supposed to do or can do as a notary so it's a lot of communication. And I always tell people, if you're not a good communicator, this may not be the thing for you. I know a lot of people get in business because all they think about is money. Oh, I can, you know, sleep till 12 and I can make all this money per, you know, per year and I can vacation. No. When you go into business for yourself, you work in 24-7. I got a call last night, probably about 8 o'clock. They need a loan signing agent for today. I took that call and took that assignment. So, um, yeah, that's how it works. So. Back to what I'm trying to get you all to understand, Uber. They're like, well, why is you doing Uber? I need consistent income coming in. Like I stated all at the beginning of this video, you may get a call. Every day ain't the same. Just look, I waited all day yesterday and got a call for a notary appointment, paying $100. That's good money. The appointment would have consisted of, you know, printing the documents. Y'all like to talk about printing documents. That's part of, you know, anyway. Yeah, you would. I would have had to print the documents. Yeah, um, I would have had to drive there. Yes, I would have had to execute the documents. Yes, I would have had to. Um, did they want me to drop it off the attorney's office? Hmm. And why I say would? Let me finish telling you the story. No, not this one, but the one I did the day before. I had a uh, note appointment. They wanted me to print the documents off, do the signing, and drop it off at the attorney's office. But not this one that I got a call for late last night. With Uber, you cut your app on, you drive, or you deliver the food, you get paid once that is finished. General notary work, you get a call, you go through your spiel, what you need to ask them about, and then you get paid. If everything is agreed upon, you get paid. And in North Carolina, you could charge $10 per notary stamp signature that you notarize and travel fee, as long as it's written in the email, text message, and is agreed upon. Don't be trying to tell people, oh, I charge this and that, if they haven't agreed upon it. They have, you both have to agree upon it. Your fees and your prices are your fees and your prices, okay? So let me get that out there first. I watched another lady. She's a um, loan signing agent. Fantastic lady as well to follow. Nobody likes to talk about how much to charge. Nobody likes to talk about fees. Nobody likes to talk about, everybody says, it's your business. You charge what you want to charge. True. So anyway. I am doing Uber because I need consistent income. I need consistent income to pay my bills and also have money in savings. Whenever you are a business owner, you're not supposed to co-mingle funds. So the money I make from my biz, my notary business is going to my notary business checking account. And then I pay myself out of that. Well, if you only make it enough to pay your household bills and you and you constantly using your business checking account as a, as a as your debit card, that's not going to work. That's why I say you have to figure out how you're going to do this thing. And y'all like you still not making sense, lady. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, let me tell you what I'm talking about. So say your bills is three thousand dollars a month. So you make three thousand dollars a month in notary business but you still got notary fees you got your business insurance you got your business address you got your business you got notary supplies you got all this stuff that you got to pay so how's you paying for your business expenses if all you drew in that month for was three thousand plus you got taxes for your business 
So that means you got to be making more than $3,000 a month in your notary business to cover your notary business expenses plus your household expenses, right? People don't think about that. So people ask, you know, for which I don't really care. People are like, well, why do you do all these different things? Because I need steady income. I need more than enough to cover my household bills. My business, my business bills is good. And for me to have savings, because when you're a business owner, you don't necessarily have have anyone delegating your 401k. So I want to make this quick video about Uber and the notary business. Why I think you should do um, something. I'm not telling you to do Uber, but why you should do something. Um, and that's what's what I'm up to. I always come to y'all real, raw, and truth. I don't sugarcoat anything. I always I don't always talk about the money. That gets people attention when you talk about, oh, you're making all this money. Yeah, you can make money. Like I said, I got a call last night for $100 for a closing for today. So let me tell you about that closing. Got a call for that closing last night. I had to call the borrowers to confirm. You always want to call the borrowers to confirm because the address may not be the same. They may want to meet at a they may want to meet at a Starbucks. But you're thinking you're meeting at the address that's on the paperwork. No, you need to call the bar and confirm. So when I called the bar, they said, oh, no, I'm not closing tomorrow, blase, blase. So then I had to call the signing company that hired me, contracted me, and let them know. Because like I said, it's a lot of hands in these pots. Y'all don't understand that. It's a lot of hands and y'all get all upset and all tizzy wizzy. It's a lot of hands in these pots. The signing company that, that hired me didn't even know that they wasn't even closing. So they had to contact the title company. That's how this works. So... Be ready to change up. So now I had to go out and make that $100. So I turned to my Uber app. And I made $100,000 plus.